What's up guys, it's David here. And today I wanna to show you how I use Descript as an AI first video editing software. I use multiple video editing software in my workflow. Hands down, Descript is the one that saves me the most time. In this video, I'm gonna walk through the interface, the features I use most in Descript, and I'll highlight the things that I think Descript does really well and excels at, and some of the AI features that I try to avoid. And I'll walk you through my basic workflow for how I use Descript in my video projects. I'm David, and I'm here to help you get paid to do do more of the things you love. Hit the subscribe button if you're into that. Let's jump into my laptop. This is the Descript dashboard. When you install Descript and create an account, what you'll see here is this dashboard. And I have a bunch of projects here in the dashboard. The main dashboard, you'll see uh, a few things. You'll have your list of projects and you'll have this button which says new. And there are two main ways that I use Descript. The first one is either creating a video project or an audio project. Audio projects I use when and I just want to do a quick recording of my voice or I want to do a quick voiceover. The video project is what we'll be talking mostly about today. So if we click on new and create a new video here, you'll see a blank slate. And this looks different and acts different than most video editors. The script wants to be known for making video editing as easy as writing a Word document. And so with that, they have this interface, which is pretty straightforward. There are a few things that you can do here. You can either upload a video file, an audio file. You can just start recording yourself. So if I wanted to start recording myself, I could just click on start recording. There are different types of recordings that you can make for yourself. You can do audio only recording. You you can do camera only, which hi there. And then you can see a uh, screen and camera. If you click on record into script, hit space, we'll say, hey, it's David and I'm testing the uh, Descript demo. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What do you think about this video editing software? And let's just hit stop. With that, we have created our first uh, recording and added our first content to Descript. It's really that simple. And that's what's really cool about it. Another way to add content to Descript is just importing a video. So you can just add a file directly from your drive. But we'll start with this. So that we navigate our way around Descript, so you have a, a good feel for how this is laid out. This is the title. You can change it to demo video recording. Uh, and below that, you'll see the transcription from the audio of your video. And you can see that here. This is where eventually we'll be editing the video just through editing the transcription of the video itself. This panel here is just your video monitor. There are a couple of ways that you can change aspect ratio to square if you want, to portrait, to landscape. The video that you recorded, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller here. And depending on your preference, you can click on this to say move canvas. And if you wanna see the video on top, you can put it on top and you have this down at the bottom, the video editing section in the bottom. By default, it comes set up like this. and I I'm used to it now. So that's that's how I use it. On the far right are all of the controls for the video itself and editing different aspects of the video. When you scroll over the video, you can see the different layers of the, this video that we recorded. This layer is directly from the camera on my laptop. And this is the screen. So we have these two video recordings. And what's nice is that you can export these out as separate files if you want to. Based on the layers, you can move the layers around. You can crop them. You can do all sorts of things. So let's just click on done here. You can hide them. So this layers section here, you can hide by just clicking hide the layer and you can mute a layer if you want to mute. So this is really where you control what's happening here. There are a few other areas of the script that we want to take a look at. This is your media folder. So you could add other files. If you have images or other types of files that you want to import, you can do it here. So if we want to just go here, that's April and script. If we have B-roll or the different types of things like that, we could import B-roll or other things into the Descript software. These are your files. These four tabs are stock videos, stock backgrounds. So if I wanted to have a background here, you have these backgrounds. You can search. You have GIFs if you want to add GIFs to your video images. You can search Unsplash photos that they have in their stock photography library. And you can also do text to image and audio. So if you have sound effects or those types of things, you can add them here. The script really tries to be a one-stop shop for your video needs. And in some ways they do that well. We already looked at the record tab. That's how we recorded this video. But let's look at uh, text. So you can add text. 
if you want to add text onto the video, we could add text. You can make it larger. You can make it smaller. We can say hello world. You can edit it and you can again move it around, right? And so if we click outside of this box here, you'll see the different layers that you have here. There's also shapes. You can add shapes to your composition. You can make this whatever color. Let's get rid of this. And then you have templates. So templates are just different layouts. These are captions. So for example, here's a caption and you could just add this caption to our video and it will take, let's match this orientation. And so if we play it, what we'll do is we'll say, hey, it's here. David and I'm testing the Descript demo, testing one, two, three. They give you out of the box some really good functionality. Let's get into the video editing and why we're really here. I really love the script for this reason is that editing your video using the text is so much faster than Premiere Pro or CapCut. Instead of having to do edit, ripple, delete, or with CapCut, edit, cut, and no ripple, delete, which is even worse. If you want to edit out this, we just delete that. And that section of the video is gone. So editing videos, so fast and so accessible. As I mentioned before, uh, Descript is an AI first video editor. So when you import your video, it uploads your video to the cloud, it transcribes it, and then it uses AI to do other functionalities. So for example, it can remove filler words. So we can just click here. And if we want to remove the filler words, we can say, what filler words do we want to remove? Let's take that off the list. Uh, yeah, in this search results here, you can see where the ums and the uhs and the te testing are going to be uh, removed. You can also see that they're highlighted here. Just hit remove move all and all of those have now been removed. And you can imagine an hour long transcript or for example, this video is a sentence long. You no longer have to go through and edit ripple delete all of these. Premiere Pro has a text based editor, but the script is light years ahead of Premiere Pro on that front. Let's also take a look at shortening word gaps. This is another cool feature. So you could say, I want to shorten word gaps of one second or more. It then shows all of the word gaps where there are a one second or more. You can see opening here, this is about four seconds. That's so you can say one second or more, and then you could hit enter shorten to 0.25 seconds. So it says what you want to shorten it to. And so here, this one is 2.8 seconds and this one is 1.1. And so if we click on shorten all, then it'll shorten them all to 0.25 seconds, right? And again, for videos where you're stopping and starting, this is just super helpful in quickly editing dialogue based videos like talking head videos or podcasts or things like that. Now, as I mentioned, the script is AI based, which means it's not perfect. Let's listen to this edited video that we had a space in the beginning and we said testing and you had those things. Let's just listen to this one more time. What we'll do is we'll say, Hey, it's David and I'm testing the Descript demo testing one, two, three. What do you think about this video editing software? And let's just, this didn't happen here, but sometimes you'll get a little bit of distortion on the edges where it cuts, if there's some overlap in sound. And if we want to restore the original edit, the edit is signified here. You can highlight around the edit and you can click on restore removed media. What it did was it added back this, uh, here. And so you can highlight the, uh, and you could say, all right, let's keep it there, but let's ignore it or replace it with a gap. So we just want to have a gap. Uh, let's undo that. Or you can also just delete it outright. So those are things that make a, a Descript really nice. You're in editing pretty quickly, especially if you're working on your own content. Another feature that I find super useful is something called overdub by Descript. Descript has a feature where you can record your own voice. And when you've recorded your own voice, you can replace words in the script. Say you messed up something that you're saying, and you can use this feature overdub. Let's just add me as a speaker to the project. When you first sign up, you won't have a speaker. So you'll have to create a new speaker. You click here and add AI speaker to this project. In order to add an AI speaker, you click on back to projects, you click on AI speakers, and then you can add a new speaker. So if it's you, you can say David K test. And then what you do is you record this or you upload a file that you use to train the AI. Then you have an AI voice. So this is super useful. I use it all the time. Let's go into the back into our demo video recording and say I said and wrong. What I can do is I can replace 
replace this with but, right? So let's just say but instead of and. And so what it'll do is it'll blink a little bit here and you'll see basically what it's doing. It's uploading this clip where I say and up to the server, transcribing it, and then it changes it to but. So let's play it again. Video editing software. But let's just, so you can see it says, but and before, let's just undo that and video editing software. And let's just, you can see how easy that is. It works best for really short words or words that you really have messed up. And it just makes it super easy. So you don't have to re-record, especially if you're doing your own videos. So I, I love that feature. And then we'll just jump down here to the timeline down here at the bottom. The timeline is one of those areas of Descript that isn't as good as CapCut, but where it does shine in the area of when you're editing text and you, you want to tighten up the dialogue, instead of having to do the cut and the ripple delete and cut and ripple delete, you can just look at the script and you say, this is where I say, hey, you can see the words that you're saying, and then you can see the space in between the word as gaps. So when we open up the video, there's this gap and you can just close this gap. So it shows you how many seconds, it's 0.22 seconds, 0.323 seconds. You could just pull it in and it gets rid of the gap. And this one here is 0.24 seconds. So you can just pull it in and you get rid of the gap. At the end of your uh, video editing, where you're just tightening up the video, it's so money because you're not going through and you're trying to like zoom in and edit these. You just pull it in, pull it into the script one more time and you just close these out. And this is one of my favorite uh, features. There are other features in the timeline. It does work like Premiere Pro or CapCut. It's just not as good. So if you can cut here and you can delete, but it, it just works clunky. So I try to stay away from it in that way. Maybe it'll work for you. And if you're familiar with CapCut or Premiere Pro, try it out, test it out. Let's just close down the timeline. And I want to go back over here to a few of the AI features, which I really like. Let's just expand this out. One of the AI features I really like is the eye contact. It's really nice because what it does is times when you're either not looking at the camera or you're maybe you're reading from a teleprompter and you're looking up makes for a much cleaner look. I swear by this feature. There are these features that Descript does just so well and they're so thoughtful. And this is one of them. So once you click on that, it takes a second and it'll show you how long it's taking to be applied and then it applies, right? And so now. Now, what we'll do is we'll say, hey, it's David, and I'm testing the Descript demo, testing one, two, three. What do you think about this video editing software? I didn't even look away there in that case. You could turn it back off if you want to. So why don't we go over here, effects, eye contact, and you could just turn it off. Yeah, so that feature is just super cool when you're doing podcasts or videos like this. It's a super useful feature. Another that you can use is green screen. So we go over here to effects and we go to green screen and we can apply green screen. The green screen is okay. Definitely isn't the strongest. I talk a lot with my hands and Descript doesn't do a great job with this and green screen. And, but, and it can tend to be for really long videos, the green screen can be really slow. I've seen it take hours to do an hour long green screen because it has to upload it to the server, do what it does and then pull it back down. And it just takes forever. It's good if you're using all in Descript or you're not using CapCut but it can be a headache. Now we have the green screen and yeah, there's no green screen. You can move me around and you can see here, but say we want to add an actual green screen and export this video that I recorded from the camera. Let's just add one of these shapes and let's, and let's do the fill and make it green. All right, and make this a green screen. And then we move out here and you can see this rectangle. Let's just pull this down to here. That's really nice. It can be a little bit slow for longer videos. So that's something that you wanna be aware of. Descript does a really great job of pulling lots of different features together, but some of them can take a little bit of time to load. Audio effects, so studio sound. Um, I don't love the studio sound. I usually use the Adobe Audio Enhancer. That's what I use. I've found it's just hit or miss. I don't know, I don't use it, but you can. The way you use it is just go to this panel, click on a video, click on a layer, you click on studio sound, and you can click here. And there are other things you can do, increase or decrease the audio here by just clicking down and then moving this left or right, reverb, creative, and all these different type of audio effects that you can do.
Why don't we just play this? David, and I'm testing the Descript demo, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So I don't really use that as much, but you can, again, give it a shot. And if it works for you, it works for you. When you're done working on your project or want to export out this layer, you can go to publish, you click on export. The recorder on the desktop doesn't record in 4K. The max is 1440p. And you have your settings and you just hit on export and then you can export your video. So I want to show you how I uh, get started with a project using Descript. Let's just create a new video project. As I mentioned, I prefer CapCut to do the green screen. So when I'm shooting these videos, what I'll do is record on my desktop. I'll sync up the audio and I'll do a green screen from my camera and I'll clean up the video before I import it into Descript from a visual perspective and a, an audio perspective. Once I have that, what I'll do is I'll just import these files here. So we have our content here and we have have our desktop raw here. And so it'll take a second and they'll load up. One of the downsides of Descript is that it can be a little bit slow because it does upload your content to the server. Sometimes it can lag. Okay, now that we've imported our files into Descript, we can click here and say insert into script. What it'll then do is that it will transcribe this video here and it'll take a couple minutes to transcribe the video. Great, so now the video is transcribed. But the problem with that is that when you edit one, it doesn't automatically edit the other. So to solve this problem of editing tracks that have the exact same audio, the script has a feature called sequences. Let's select both of these files by clicking control on a Mac. And then what we can do is we can just click on create sequence. You can see here, these two videos are now tethered together and they can be edited together. So if we want to move this over to sync this up, so we now have this sequence, which is desktop raw green content content and we could just insert this sequence into the script. So we click on insert into script and you can see here it will insert both of them at the same time. And it'll take a second to transcribe, but while that is transcribing, why don't we go to the SLR view and why don't we move through the video a little bit and pause it here as it transcribes. Let's go to green screen effects, chroma key, and then it just removes the green screen. And let's move this here so you can actually see the screen. And then let's move me to the top. And so here we go. So now we have me on top of this video. It's still transcribing. So it takes a few minutes for the to fully transcribe. This is a pretty long video right now. If we're editing it in Premiere Pro or even CapCut, this would probably take hours and hours. So when you import the way that we just did, it'll We'll say there's some duplicate transcription because of mic bleed. We can ignore these. Okay, so now we have our raw video that I recorded about uh, Pika Labs. You could see that this is a 56 minute long video. It's pretty long. The first thing that we want to do is we want to remove filler words. So you can see all these uhs and ums and nas and ums and spaces. So there are 464 of them. Let's just remove them all. That took off 15 minutes of the video. So in just a few minutes, we've cut down 15 minutes off the video. Next thing that we want to do is we go through and shorten word gaps. Let's just say it's one second or more down to 0.25 seconds. Click on shorten all. And so it's shortening those. So now the video is 35 minutes and you really two clicks. We've edited down the video by by 20 minutes almost. That's huge as you're editing. And then what I do is I'll listen through this 35 minutes of audio I have logged in. So this is the Pika Labs homepage. And so you have, okay, once you've logged in, we can just edit this out and we can start. And why don't you can sign in with Google or you can sign in with Discord. And then you just go through the edit from there. Once you import through a sequence, you edit one part of a sequence, it edits all the layers in the sequence together. So this is especially useful for videos like this. If you're doing screen recording or if you have some type of B-roll, it's just super useful. The other thing that we want to do when we import this video is we want to add a, me as a speaker to this so that as we're going through and say we want to edit this, what we can just click on replace. You can just say overdub this to... to However, and you can click on overdub discord since we're already 
signed in. However, we'll get signed in. It's just a super powerful tool. So that's the basics of how I saved about one to two hours just by this type of setup for Descript. This is the basics of Descript. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. But remember, Descript is just one tool in your arsenal of storytelling. If you're looking to enhance your videos with voice dialogue, you'll wanna watch this video that I made about AI voice generation. Check it out here or here.